Hey everyone, welcome back to the Master Palette Lecture Series. I probably should have named this Master Palette um, because I'm going through pretty much everything that's in every palette known to man on this program. So uh, what we're talking about today is brackets. Uh, brackets are these things that we use when we create I'm going to do command new I'm just going to do that go and I'm just going to do band and percussion we're just going to do small concert band I don't want to do anything let's we'll just do C okay so you see this if I bring it up if you see this right here that is the first type of bracket that you would find if you went view master palette so let me check it again here we go here's the bracket that actually you could see it goes all the way down to the end of the baritone sax so in a band you normally have all these different woodwinds flute oboe bassoon clarinet one clarinet two bass clarinet sometimes you'll have an you know e flat clarinet sometimes you have an e flat alto clarinet uh, and then you have alto sax tenor sax and berry sax so these big heavy black brackets here you can see they're uh, they're stretched so that all of the woodwind family is accounted for it's separated into groups separated into big groups be with this bracket so this is the woodwinds up here then you've got horn and F, trumpet, trumpet, trombone, trombone two, slash bass trombone, euphonium, and tuba. Okay, so the bra the big heavy black bracket says all of this is brass. Okay? Then we have one last bracket, big heavy black bracket, which is percussion, timpani, glockenspiel, percussion one, percussion to your snare or your bass or whatever that kind of thing that's going to be under the percussion section so these heavy black brackets they make it so you can separate out families of different instruments you know so if I were making a if I were making a piece uh, I'll just name it whatever today's date is, 1117. If I were doing this myself and choosing the instruments, I'd go continue. And then I just write all these down. And I like soprano, so I'm going to actually make it a little bit more. And then free read, harmonica or recorder. Let's say I, I'm just woodwind and brass choir. Let's just say that done now see even here if you were to take that off you could actually go to view add palette again make sure it's checked and select all of these select these all of these measures make sure it's shift and select click shift click and then let's go view gonna go add bracket 
and let's see if it added the bracket. Yes, it did. So mu score makes it possible that you can actually, you know, select the staves that you want to be grouped together as one instrument family. So that that's a big big uh, thing here is it's it's a lot of point and click. Okay, so you you have this ability now. Um, like if I wanted to make, uh, let's see, I could just do this, save this 1117, close. What if I were to do Woodwind Choir? Now, and then I'll just go this way. Typical instrumentation, let's see, choose instruments. Okay, woodwinds. And then we have we do have one brass in there so this could be sort of a, a woodwind choir thing going on okay so yeah so now you see how you've got this black line all the way down to where the the end of the bassoon line would be Okay. Um, if you wanted it all in one family, you can click it and make it go down. Uh, I would do that just because, you know, woodwind choir were basically has a horn and F as the last instrument. So we usually have at least piccolo flutes, oboes, clarinets, bass clarinets. Uh, bassoons and horn and F we can have uh, the saxes as well uh, so if you wanted it to be you know all one big family you would drag this from bassoon all the way down to horn and F so and that's you can you can just select like shift click from the top all the way to the bottom and then you know go to go to view go to palette add now I just made a double double one which I don't need but you get the picture alright so that is it for this video um, the next one we're gonna go over is there's this little um, other bracket that's very very thin that extends out of the bar line to the left or outside of a staff to the left and it kind of circles around that thick heavy bar, uh, bracket it's another type of bracket which we'll go over in the next video so stay tuned and I will be back <laughs>